Uh, oh, I mean, hi. We're back. <laughs> it's it's 5.30 in the morning. And we are at just at the threshold, at the entrance of the DLC, Artorius of the Abyss. So we gotta get this stupid thing out of our way first. Are you fucking kidding me? Well... I forgot how much I hate this stupid thing. I know I said at the end, this guy isn't that bad, and he, he's, he's, he's... There are far worse bosses than this guy, but he's... Oh my god, I hate him. Okay, so screw power within, let's just run in with great magic weapon. I hate this, I hate fighting this stupid thing. I guess what it amounts to, what, uh... A good idea is to just keep moving. Welp, that was a bad idea. Oh boy. I did it. See, you deal pretty good damage to him, he, um... I think he has below average HP. Well, no, I don't even know that for sure, but either way. I don't want this entire episode to be me, like, fighting this guy and just eating shit. So, um... Let's see. Nah, we gotta keep the bag. I hate this boss. I think it's because I'm... I think it's because I suck, but I hate this thing. He's just... an asshole. Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. I am astonished that that... Okay. I'm astonished the first hit didn't hit me. I mean, no, the second one hit me, but also not surprised. Sip. Oh boy. Look how much HP. Oh boy. Oh, you can cut his tail off. Oh boy. Yep. Take that. Oh no. That was a bad idea. Okay. That was also a bad idea. That attack ruins your stamina. It just... One more hit! There we go. That attack where he flaps his wings pretty much just ruins your stamina if it hits you. Even if you were a whole... Oh, still poisoned. Okay, that was really freaking annoying. Anyway, let's carry on. Back to the past to when the world was young. So what was I saying? Oh yeah. That thing where he flaps his wings and sends a shockwave, um... Get away from it or roll through it, because it will just muck up your stamina and leave you staggered, like I was. Ulysseal Sanctuary. So we are now in the ancient, li the ancient land of Ulysseal. And I am now no longer poisoned. And we can warp to and from here. We can, you know, go back to the main game if whenever we want. Anyway. We don't want to. We're here for a purpose. We have a reason to be here. Hey, lady. Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed. Look at my back. But not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness, but Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Anything for you, giant talking mushroom. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. 
Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Ulysseel. So, we can buy stuff from Mushroom Lady. Nothing we really need. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by Play the with abyss. The mouse. Overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Mm. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Okay, thank you, lady. Anyway. May the flames guide thee. I like talking mushroom. Anyway, this place is pretty cool. I like this zone of the game a lot. I don't like traversing the royal wood. I like it as a location, and I've never really looked up it, I've never really looked at the surroundings here. But, uh, oh, by the way, if you go back there, two of those stupid sanctuary gardens, sanctuary guardians spawn at once, and you get to fight them, or run the fuck away, it's not required that you fight them, I never bother with it. Now then, here we get to meet some of the weirdest motherfuckers in the game. These goofy scarecrow things. They're literally just scarecrow farmers. They are armed with pitchforks and hedge clippers. I am not even making that up. Like, behind them, like, on its back, he's got hedge clippers. Further back is what I believe to be an ancient coliseum. That's where we meet... An old friend. Well, actually, well, no, not really, but, um, we meet a friend there. Probably my favorite character in the game. Actually, we, we meet two friends there. One of which is an asshole, but both of which are some of my favorite characters in the game. And get these idiots away from me. These guys are like the stupid tree men, but worse. Because these guys have pokey prods. I don't like their pokey prods. And they follow you to the ends of the earth. There are also giants here. I'm just gonna... I always just fucking run through this place. I hate these things. Like, I mean, they die in two hits. But god, they're annoying. Oh, by the way. I wonder if I can... This... That's another friend. We'll learn more about him. That is, um, I will tell you now. That is Black Dragon Calamite. He is another big boss here. <laughs> Aha! Okay. Gimme. There are, I believe, three big bosses in the DLC. If you're wondering what this is, what this goo is, the land of Ulysseel is he hedge clippers. Has is hedge clippers. The land of Ulysseel has been corrupted by what is known as the Abyss. Um, Artorius, one of Gwyn's great four knights, came here to combat the Abyss himself. Unfortunately, as the game story tells us, motherfucker. Hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Take me home. I want to go home. Take me home tonight. Okay, that's the shortcut, by the way. Oh, wait, no. The shortcut's over here. But, um, Artorius was unfortunately not. And he, he couldn't hack it, he couldn't handle it. He was overtaken by the Abyss, and was lost to it. But that's why he's called Artorius the Abyss Walker, because according to legends, he fought the Abyss and won. That's not quite the case. Here we meet one of my favorite characters in the game. Me! 
Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Did you happen across Knight Artorias? The legendary abyss walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> What's I having fun with the camera? This is Marvelous Chester. So long. He's an asshole. But he's my favorite asshole. Because just look at that swag. Look at that hat. Look at that coat. Look at that candelabra. Everything about this guy just reeks of cool. Alright, we're gonna take this lift. I'm debating saving my souls and by and uh, leveling up with them, or just making a mad dash. Oh, by the way, the giant thingy that uh, almost kicked their ass. Uh, there are a bunch of those in the forest. You can collect their gear. It's pretty neat. Um, they have a unique giant set. Which makes me wonder, I, um, I think I, I mostly avoided the giants in, um, in Darkroot Garden before the uh, Moonlight Butterfly fight, but they're there. And it makes me wonder if these giants are just, like, are the same, are the same kind of creature as those things just from the past. Maybe their power diminished or something, I don't know. The uh, the game's lore, I I like it a lot. I know an okay amount of it, but I'm by no means an expert on Dark Souls lore. Um, but <clears throat> there's some there's so many things in the game that tie in with itself. That excuse me, that's just super interesting to see how like one part of the game connects to another or how one character or creature ties in with an or even an item ties in with some other thing it's um it's really neat i they did a very good and de they, they did a great job with just making this incredibly detailed world so i applaud them for that um i think i'm going to up Actually, I'm gonna up our vitality this time. And we're gonna get one more level. Like I said before, I don't really up vitality much. Why don't I try upping vitality some here? But anyway. Yeah, you know what's coming. <clears throat> we have a very important boss fight coming up soon. One of my favorite boss fights in the game. It's also a very difficult one. And uh, you've probably are you probably already know who it's with. You probably already taking a guess if you didn't know already around who we're going to be fighting. But I'll just uh I'll just let it happen. While well, I hope to god I can run past these stupid farmer scarecrows. Man, they're annoying. Ugh Oh right, I should have kindled the now nah, whatever. No doubt I'm going to die horribly, so I'll have plenty of time to do that afterwards. I would stop to admire the view, but I'm sure these guys are going to catch up to- Oh, maybe not. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This game is so pretty. But yeah. Oh. And. Can't really, you can't see him, but there's, um, there's a dude up there. I'm surprised you can't see him, because he's a big dude. There's an item. But, um, yeah, I, I know I'm, like, completely ruining the lore and stuff by just spouting crap off as I think of it, but, um, 
Like I said, this isn't a lore guide. I'm just having fun talking about the game. So. Here we go. Bag at the ready. <sighs> no. What do you want? Don't bit me. Look at this guy. Look how fucking cool he is. I want that blue shawl. Just dangle level sword. Catch! This is Artorius, the Abyss Walker. He hits like a truck. He's probably par truck. Oh my god. Okay, that time of my, my timing is horrible. Blech. This is probably my favorite boss fight in the game. Just because it's so cool. Like, Artorius is such a cool character, and there was some cut content planned for him. Not a lot, but there were some, um, some voice tracks for him that they recorded when developing the area. So he actually has a voice, but it, none of it's in the game, unfortunately. But you can go online and um, find what they um, recorded for him to say. But it's it's basically just more stuff that plays into him being corrupted or by the abyss, but still just barely clinging on to some of his humanity. It's a uh, he's a really sad character. At least, I think so. But, um... That's right, I have the option of... There's another character in the game, Sif, who is a wolf. Just a literal, like, big gray wolf. Who was Artorius' companion. That you have to fight... Excuse me. Not as part of the DLC, but as, an act but as a boss in the regular main game. Um, if you do the DLC first, you get a different opening scene for fighting Sif. I'm debating whether or not I want to do that or just do the regular route. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna complete this first, but either way, it's, um, there's some heavy tearjerker stuff that happens. So let's watch me get my ass handed to me a few times. Ah, crap, I missed. How's that for an oh crap moment? God damn it. There we go. Oh, god, uh, bah <laughs> When he does that, it's best to just get the hell away when he does his Link spin. His Link sword. Where, that's what that's the sound Link makes. When he, when he does this spin attack, I always roll into it because I'm a dummy. You're more likely to get away from it if you roll away from it. My main gripe with this boss is the run back. The salty run back. Um, this is yet another boss that I'm afraid I might get stuck on for a while. I'm going to try to not. Maybe if I get stuck on a boss for too long... I might just get back to the main game and come back here later, because I always had that option and I don't, you know, want to get too boring. Um, because sometimes I, uh, forget that I'm recording myself playing the game, and I'm not exactly a professional. Um, and yeah, I don't want things to get too boring. Maybe I'll just make small talk with my camera. 
I don't know how to spawn. Anyway, this maybe I'll just make a montage of every time I die. That might be more entertaining. I can figure out how to use Windows Movie Maker to make a montage. But yeah, this is a rough boss fight. I might not even use Power Within because the um, the health drain makes it extra risky. And actually, I don't know why I wasn't using the Ulysses Library Catalyst to begin with because that has much better magic adjustment than the Sorceress Catalyst. The Sorceress Catalyst is 114. Tim Bashman is 112, Lilithia Library is 180, which will make my great magic weapon must be much stronger. So, we're gonna do that. I will do power with him this time, but hopefully we should notice a difference if and when we land a hit on him. God damn it. Yep. Much stronger. Oh boy. Okay, now he's gonna start calling on the powers of dark. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna slam dunk me. Now he's gonna call upon me. I'm gonna die. That buffs him. He just buffed himself. Oh boy. Ah. Ah. Gross. That was... He's gonna do it again. You know what I can do it too. Mother. Okay. That hits hard enough to kill me. <laughs> okay. I'm annoyed because my swipes kept missing. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to, you know, switch away from this and go back to the Black Knight's. Never mind, I have no reason to do that. Black Knight Sword cannot be buffed with Magic Weapon. Which, um... When I fight this guy, I like having the magic weapon buff, obviously. Um, just because... It, when it gets right down to it, damage per second is a very important factor. And I guess I can't do a whole lot of damage per second if I keep whi uh, whiffing all my attacks. <clears throat> but, uh, get away! Um, fucking assholes. These guys are jerks. That frame. Frame right? <laughs> um... But yeah, and Artorius is, it's its a fight where it's risky to sip your Estus, just because he attacks so fast, like, he's super nimble, and he hits like a truck, so if you have to, um, stop to, you know, to take a sip of your Powerade, of your Sunny D, um, it, Obviously, and like in any situation, it makes you wide open for punishment. But with Artorius, it's especially risky because he's super fast and hits super hard. And the only real safe time to buff is when he's doing his buff. Or not, well, to buff and to heal is when he's doing his annoying buff. So here we go again now. Oh, this is rough. Such a cool fight. Oh boy. Oh my god. You rip. And I'm doing exactly what I said to not do. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Get comfortable, folks. We're gonna be here for a while. Of course, that's when he does his buff. 
<laughs> See, it's funny because now I'm doing the exact stuff I get worked up when I watch other people do. A uh, Game Informer recently did a whole playthrough of this game, and it was a lot of fun. It was great to watch, but I just. It was so aggravating because there was so much stuff that they either missed or just, like, didn't saw and didn't get. Like, if I could count the amount of times that an item would spawn or something, or like, this is like a, a nifty item would appear and they would walk right past it. Or, um, well, either way, I'm kind of being a hypocrite because... Um, when they were fighting Artorias, they were dressed in full hobble set, which has ridiculous poise and can just basically stand through hits and, um, you know, take punishment while drinking the Estus. I'm doing that same thing now, <laughs> where I'm taking a sip when I think I might have a marginal amount of safety, and then I get my ass kicked. So, someone fell off and died. Great. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm considering low, even lowering my equipment load even further so I can fast roll. Oh yeah, we're going to be the king in yellow. I'm gonna get my ass kicked so hard. Like, if he lands a hit on me, it is going to do so much damage. Oh boy. This might just become the playthrough. This might turn into the let's play, as it were. Watch London fight Artorias. Forever. Because we're, we're more mobile, I'm feeling a little better about this one. Oh boy. Ah! Tried to roll out of the way, god damn it! That one is... the stab is actually... it's a pain. Like, even if you roll, it can still... it can and will still hit you, and it hits you multiple times. Which is... oh, it's just god-awful. What's the worst, which is my own damn fault, which this isn't the case, this time he just beat the shit out of me, but every now and then I'll, I'll be using Power Within, and I'll take a hit and have just a little bit of health remaining that will drain away over a couple seconds <laughs> like I'll go to a <laughs> I'll go to sip my Estus and as I'm pulling the flask out I uh, before I take my sip will die just because of my health draining out it's real <laughs> it's really annoying but I mean that's what happens <laughs> so Anyway, when you look this good, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm surprised I've stuck with the Claymore this long. I guess one thing I tend to do is just pick a weapon and run with it. Um, like I said, I've never, like, last, er, last game I played, I started with the Zweihander, then, and I used that until I got to Anne Orlando, then I used the Black Knight Greatsword, and I just used that... Well, that time I was actually going specifically for a Zweihander build, so that worked out. This time I just kind of picked the Claymore and decided, screw it. I'm getting a better feeling, this will be the last attempt, by the way. I'm getting a pretty okay feeling about this because we're... Targeting lost. We're consistently doing... A decent amount of damage to him. No! Greedy! Okay, good, he's buffing. I 
I'm getting super greedy. Okay, come on. Show me what you got. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's what I didn't want to do. Ah! I hate that. I hate the gunk. Oh! Alright. It's gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. I never expect the second one. Sometimes he does one jump, sometimes he does two. That time he did two. But, uh... uh I hate to say this because I know I'm gonna regret it, but I'm pretty confident that we can take the guy on and beat him next time. So, sorry that took so much of this episode. But, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>